And ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. All right, look, man, check this out. This Gemstar shirt, this is actually my first Gemstar shirt that I ever put out, man. Make gains, not excuses. Like, this is one of the first ones I ever put out, and I felt like I didn't realize how dope the design was until people saw that I had put it out, and then they were like, hey, I need that, and I, you know, I probably sold about two or three of these joints this week. But hey, it is what it is, man. Like I said, if you want a chance to win one of my free shirts, like the video, let's get the video to 500 likes. Uh, once the video gets to 500 likes, we're gonna, we're gonna put your shirt size down in the comment section, and we're gonna, um, we're gonna select somebody. Subscribe if you're new, obviously. And, uh, and if you're not new, you already know what to put down in the comment section. What's that? Gym stars, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, let me tell you what, man. Hey, the landscape of 2K right now, man, is it's 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 tumultuous at best. Um, look, bro, we got the foam fingers right now. What do y'all feel about the foam fingers, man? I think that the game is like, I, I don't know, like this is supposed to be a serious game. I can take the game serious with, with a dude with a full Express Blues Brothers suit on like my dog, uh, like my dog uh, 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 Miles sent me the other day. I can, I can deal with that, right? I can deal with that. I can take uh, people out there playing with hats on and, and Viking helmets and stuff like that. To me, it doesn't really affect the game, but the foam fingers where you're, you're holding a ball like this right here, and you're shooting the ball like this, and you're getting boards like this, and you dunking the ball like this. Bro, that's messing with me for some reason. I don't, I, I don't understand. Like, like I know it's just all in good fun, and I know it's in the game, and I know they just want to make sure that people have fun, and you know, stuff like that is fun. But to me, it's weird. It's just weird. And now, I know it's all a market employee. I know all of that stuff, man. Like, but come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Like, what are we, what are we doing? Are we playing basketball? Are we hooping or what, man? I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. Um, I just don't know, man. Like, is the game getting too silly? Have we gotten away from, from the essence of basketball? Like, what basketball is supposed to be? Like, I'm not going to lie. The dudes out there with the express suits on that this, 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 this look like they're the Blues Brothers with the white with the white uh, Air Force Ones or whatever on, the white low tops, I ain't going to lie. The new joint is kind of fire with the tie with the... Woo! I ain't gonna lie, man. I need to do that so I can take off the blazer, loosen up the tie, step inside the boo. Superman's alive. I need to do that, man. But you know, it is what it is, man. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. That's, that's what I'm asking, really. I, how do you guys feel about it? I don't know how I feel about it. I just feel like instead of releasing things like that, we need to be concentrating on making the game better, improving the game, getting the things out of the game that shouldn't be in there, like the demigod glitch, like the... <laughs> I said to them, I'm dead to I'm, I'm blue in the face, like the attributes glitch, like the tendencies glitch, things like that. They, we we got to fix the game first before you try to sell us something. You already sold us the game. The game wasn't ready. We've accepted that. But to to insult our intelligence by trying to throw some, throw uh, perfume on a turd and then continue to sell us other things, come on, man. We got to do better than that. Come on, man. Anyway, speaking of that, man, um, my guy Duke Dennis, has been tweeting and duke dennis's duke dennis's twitter i'm not gonna lie is a cornucopia of greatness because like what he said yesterday uh <laughs> this is funny y'all hold on one second let's get let's 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 just get the like, camera nine cap all right look this video was one that's put up here and this joint was hilarious here we go. You can't beat the cheaters, bro. Hold up. Can't, you can't beat the cheaters, bro. I ain't no names, man. I ain't no copy, but nothing. You know what I'm saying? But god damn. You know what I'm saying? Let, let Big Damon win. Let me win some. I want some gold <laughs> shorts. I want some unlimited boost. I'm tired. I'm tired of I'm tired of buying boost every game. <laughs> I want some orange sleeves, suit. I want something. Save me some. <laughs> hey, like I said, that's a video. That right there was a video that, that Duke had put up from Big Davo. And uh, I mean, I thought it was hilarious. But uh, the people that are doing it probably didn't think it was hilarious. They probably went, eh, eh, I'm not the one cheating. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. But Duke definitely had, first of all, my guy Desi Banks. 
this one right here is hilarious. If you hadn't seen it, go check that out. But Duke put up a very interesting tweet, and I agree with it. You may agree, you may disagree, but the 2K community loves blaming 2K for being trash, but the, the, but they, hold up, but they y'all wants, what? Okay, but y'all the ones that's cheating, boosting, doing glitches, etc. Can't speak on fixing the game when you're part of the problem. Hey, I agree. Uh, I agree, man. Look, this is this is a tweet right here. The 2K community love blaming 2K for being trash, but they're the ones. That, but y'all the ones are cheating, doing glitches, etc. Uh, can't speak. Up. Look, he's right. When you're part of the problem, you got you either part of the problem, you part of the solution, man. So it's like, like where are we at? Like, do we want a game that's not broken? Just like my man, my man, Grindhard said, bro. 2K, um, 2K. 19 was never really broken down and never really exposed for how bad it was in a lot of aspects and then when you take into account that all of this stuff that's happening in 2k 20 was in 2k 19 this is just somebody like it really feels like somebody was like hey i didn't come up in 2k 19 so i'm exposing all the glitches because i know that they won't fix them like last year they probably were exposing the glitches but somebody kept quiet right this year they're not keeping quiet they just like, yeah, we putting them all out there. And like I said, they keep rolling them out little by little by little by little, you know. They keep doing that so that so that I, I don't know what it is. Like, are they doing that so that so that um 2K can't catch up with them and they're gonna force them to do more patches and stuff like that? I I I just don't know. I I, I really don't know, man. Like y'all let me know. Like, is the 2K community part of it? Is it 2K's? 2K is partially to blame for not fixing these things that they're aware of, right? But the new stuff, the people that are just dedicated to finding new stuff, like 2K just needs to hire these guys, bro. Just hire them. Hire these people and 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 let them find. You, you need somebody on your staff. Look, people are not going to play this game straight up all the time. It's just not going to happen. So you need to hire somebody. Clearly your staff is not equipped, I guess to um is, is what i'm trying to say clearly your staff is not equipped to find these glitches and hunt them down and like is that, is that the easiest job in the world like who is the person that finds the glitches do they just do they just go on youtube and type glitch and figure out what's going on or whatever like i, I don't get it like what is their job description or whatever I, I i don't know man it is what it is but look that aside your boy mike wong is tweeting again and somebody asks at baluba Hey, I love when Swante do that. If you like when Swante do that, man, leave a thumbs up on the video, man. Leave your shirt size down there and like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content as well. But look, at Baluba, Mike, you're doing so much to save the game, and we appreciate you so much. But fam, can you please add an option to use the dribble stick from 2K19? Some, I mean, some people miss that, and some people like the new dribble stick, ankle breaker, and unpluckable are useless. Please respond. All right, so Mike actually responds and he said, what aspect of, of, of 19's dribble controls do you miss specifically? And the floodgates have opened. And uh, you know, Paul Weissian says, we don't have have total control over the player style uh, to differ each to differ each other. Uh, we, we are forced to use certain animations we don't want to use just to pick up, uh, just to pick up an animation that's built within. I understand that. E, uh, example, size ups include escapes and rhythm dribbles, uh, rhythm, rhythm, rhythm dribble styles, etc. Limiting, limiting our animation choices. Uh, okay, Lamaster says everything. 2K20, we literally have one move, which is the behind the back. Uh, 2K19, we have so many other options, which, I mean, so many other options that everyone's dribbling was unique. Take out the moving size up and that randomly triggers uh, like 2K18 and give us the walking size ups from 2K19 uh, that allow creativity. That's bullshit, LaMonster. Like, uh, okay, I mean, say, please take out the auto moving. Hey, look, man, I get it. I get what y'all are saying. You want to be unique. Stop it. Ain't nobody unique. Whose dribbling style was unique? I'll wait. Bro, all y'all ever did, the only thing the cold community did was wait and saw what Steezo was going to put out. And, and did, there was no, there was not, look. I'm not saying that dribbling doesn't need to be adjusted and there's only one move that really gets you open. Yes, that's true. But you can miss me with the whole unique dribbling style uh, argument, bro. Ain't nobody do nothing different last year. Pope Boy Sam did some unique stuff, but everybody else, the only thing they did was a modified version of left-right, just like they've done since 2K, 2K, uh, 
what uh 2k 16 and which and, and that was always run this way uh hesitate come back this way hesitate come back this way catch you with a screen hesitate cross back over hesitate and pull that was it and then if you got them in a one-on-one -on -one situation where I, where I used to be locking people up because I had a two-way playmaker, what do they do? Standing behind the back, skip by you, and go. Like everything, it doesn't matter what everybody did. In 2K18, stop it. Everything ended with momentum behind the back to get by the person. So all the dribbling, momentum behind the back. And then they was going to the rim. Everything culminated with momentum behind the back because that was the only move that was going to get you by somebody. So y'all can miss me with all this. I need you. Need. Everybody's dribbling style was No, least of all, least of all the people that are talking. Now, Pope Boy Sin's dribbling style is unique. Uh, Steezo's dribbling style. I mean, he was the same thing though. He just do the spin out and then go behind the back, the moving behind the back, and the, like all his, all of them ended just like that. Pope Boy Sand is probably one of the only people that I look at, and he adjusts to what the defense is doing. So he he step back. If you go, uh, man, man, grind hard too. Man, y'all don't understand how good of a how good of a dribbler man, man is. Those are the only two people that I can say they do different stuff almost every time, and they actually react to the defender instead of just having a pre canned. You know, this is what I'm gonna do. And T Mizzle, T Mizzle does too. He he reacts to the defender. So those three, those are the only ones that I know of. Everybody else that's talking, no. Nah. Lamont, you do the same thing that, that everybody else do. Like, I never saw. I mean, I watch your videos. Much respect to you, but I don't see no no unique dribbling style. Brutal Sim got a unique dribbling style too. But you know, a lot of people. I don't know. Am I wrong? Maybe I don't watch enough Lamont videos. So y'all let me know if he if his dribbling style is different and unique. But I never noticed that about anybody else. Those four, and it might be because I watch these four guys' videos more than anybody. But I don't. I never saw. I never saw like uh, I played against a lot of people last year. Most people just use screens or they use the same dribble moves that everybody else was using. Maybe they popularized the dribble move from the jump, and then everybody's copying them. Maybe that's what it is. It could be that maybe the monster popularized all those dribble moves. But all I ever saw from people was go this way, hesitate. If you reacted, come back this way, hesitate. That's what it always did, and it ultimately ended with the momentum behind the back or just the, the, the scoop behind the back. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. I could just be hating. It is what it is. The monster, a great player, but I'm just saying, like, I, I haven't noticed it. A unique dribble style but like i said i don't i haven't watched a whole lot of his videos or enough of them to really know it is what it is man like i said i do feel like the dribble style that said i do feel like the dribbling style does need to be opened up and give you more options and more things like that but i'm just saying as a 2k community we don't use those options so it, it doesn't matter everybody does the same thing like let's be real let's stop acting like we so unique i, I i'm this way because i no, ain't nobody doing nothing different everybody does the same moves they figure out what works like, if you're so unique, why is why is everybody only using the, the behind the back? Somebody would have figured out something else that's going to get you open, right? Like, or if that's the only move that's going to get you open, then then let's figure out something. I don't know, bro. Hey, it is what it is. I done harped on too long about that. But y'all let me know. Like, everybody only uses the behind the back. I, the first person I seen do that was Zuli. Everybody saw that that, that going to get you open, and that's what they did. Anyway, on to our, to our last thing. And uh, this is just what a lot of people wanted to say. Look. Duke said it best right here. Dudes on Call of Duty will aim down sight for 50 seconds straight. No budging at all. LMAO. And that's absolutely correct, man. That's that's how that's what I feel about Call of Duty right now. I think that I think I don't think the game is really good. I'm not gonna lie to you. The game is good. The gunplay is good. The gunplay is solid. Bullet pit bullet travel time and penetration, all that, hit detection, all that. Awesome game. The basis of the game is solid. It's just like Ghost was. Ghost had the best hit detection probably in Call of Duty history, dang near. But the maps are what really killed Call of Duty for me on Ghost. I liked it because I just put on Infinite Sprint and I ran around all the maps and it was cool. But in this Call of Duty, man, it's too close. It's like the maps are big, but there's too much stuff everywhere and it just makes people not want to move like i'm not gonna move i'm just gonna sit here and i'm gonna aim down sight and wait till somebody crosses my face and then when i go play domination and we're beating the heck out of the other team we have two objectives then the other team just doesn't move they don't even try to win the game so i'm never in the situation where people, i'm always the person running around trying to get the objective and i'm always getting shot and nobody else is ever moving that makes for a very boring game to me i'm sorry i don't like to wait and sit in one's place for one minute or two minutes with a Claymore watching my back and do that. If, if I don't want to do that, that's cool. I just won't play the game. I'm cool with that, but I'm fine. But see, so some people can't admit, dang, I wasted money on this. 
I can admit I wasted money on it. If you are truly enjoying Call of Duty Godspeed to you, I'm glad that you are. But the fact that I say that I'm not, and I feel like it's a bad game, that should not trigger you in any way. You know what I'm saying? I got a Dodge Charger. You might think that's a bad car. If you say it's a bad car, I wouldn't care. If I got a Dodge, I, I, got, a, I got a Ford Flex out there. And I got a, uh, a Focus or something out there, whatever I drive for my company car. You might think those are bad cars. You wasted money on those. I wouldn't care. So why when I say I, I wasted money on this, that triggers other people. I don't get that. My opinion shouldn't, shouldn't move you like that. So like you just feel like, hey, you don't want to feel like you just wasted money on the game. I'm cool with saying I wasted that money. I'll never get it back. It is what it is. I'm going to move on. I'm going to try to play the game. I'll figure it out. Maybe after everybody gets used to the maps and starts moving around. But that, that map, they got the Taj Mahal in the middle. Nobody ever going to do anything but run straight to that and just stay in there and try to hold the house. And then you'll never be able to. Like, how do you have sight lines that look at spawn points? That's That makes no sense. Like the one of the maps from the beta, it literally looks right at the spawn point. And if you come around that corner, dude just moves in front of the and then he's gone. Another one is like where you got to go through a building or whatever from the beta also. Dude sitting there with a shotgun all day, he don't never have to move. You have Somebody's going to inevitably move past that point. All I'm saying is, is to me, it's not fun. It might be, you might be having a ball, but I'm just not. So as such, I'm just going to cast it aside and I'm going to keep on moving. If the maps are better, I will rock with it. But the maps aren't better, man. It is what it is. Anyway, I don't talk too long about this. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If you think you can carry me in Call of Duty, hit me up. Holler at your boy. And uh, please do that because I feel like, you know, right now, maybe if we get a team of six or ten that can really move the map and keep people from playing like they want to try to play, it'll be fun. Y'all say y'all rushes and y'all getting 60 kills a game. Rushing. Hey, let's see it. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Go ahead and make sure you leave your shirt size down in the uh, comments. And let me know what, uh, what size shirt you want. Like the video. Subscribe. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed.